Good morning, children. We have completed all the five chapters in chemistry, right? Today we will start with ninth chapter in physics. We have studied two chapters. Already we have studied electricity and magnetic effect, right? The third chapter, what we are going to study is light. It's a very, very, very interesting chapter. Okay? You are ready to study light? Okay. Light is seen everywhere. Okay? And thanks to our physicist, if light is not there in the night time, what happens? Like in the olden days, we used to close everything and we should sleep at 7 o'clock. Right? But now, we are able to do everything. It is because of electricity. Okay. That we will keep it aside. First, we will study about light. Okay. Light. Immediately, when I tell light, what will come to your mind? Sunlight, no? If sunlight is not there, how much we should pay from morning till evening if you are using only electricity? Okay. Uh, in light chapter, we are going to study two things in detail. That is reflection and refraction. Okay. Each and every bit of this chapter is very, very important. So, don't omit anything. Study the whole chapter thoroughly. Okay. Study of light is called what? We have studied, no study of biology, study of botany, study of chemistry, study of that, this and all we have studied. Study of light is called optics. You know, study of light is called optics. So, if you are studying a term like this, definitely we should know the father of optics. Right? Father of Modern optics is, see here I have written a big name. He is a Muslim scholar from Arab. See, Abu Ali Al-Hassan Ibn Al-Haytham. This is very difficult, no? So people used to call him as Ibn Al-Haytham. Okay, but his full name is Abu Ali Al-Hassan and then the name. Okay, so he is the father of modern Optics. He was born in 965. All other things you search, okay. If you search and if you see, you know, it will be very interesting. If I tell everything, it will not be that good. So, what happened, you know, only one hint I give that he is an Arab Muslim scholar. Other things, now we are very good in using Google. So, we will Google and we will get the information. Those who are really interested, check, okay. Uh, he was kept in house arrest for 10 years it seems and then he was assassinated. So you find out all the other details. Okay. Now light. Before starting light, we will just brush up what we have studied. Okay. Our basic knowledge also we should check. Even if you are very good, health wise, we will go to hospital early once after some 30, 35 years. We will go to hospital, go for a checkup, health checkup. What's the reason for that? To check whether our parameters are correct. Right? Here also, before studying light chapter in detail, because we are going to study everything in detail, reflection and refraction, we should know the basic things. So, we will check whether we are good in those basic terms and concepts. Okay? Light. So, characteristics of light you know. From your lower classes, you are studying characters of light. We know that light always travels in a straight line. Yes. Light always travels in a straight line. This property is called as, always they travel in straight line. No, that property is called as rectilinear propagation of light. You have studied I think. No? Rectilinear propagation of light. Okay. Rectilinear propagation of light. If you are not knowing, try to find out the spelling for that. Okay. Rectilinear propagation. What is rectilinear propagation? Light always travels in a straight line. That is called as rectilinear propagation. So, light always travels in a straight line. That is called as rectilinear propagation. And speed of light. When you are going to school, the speed will be faster, slow. 
it depends some children they will get ready fast right when you are getting ready in the morning it will be very fast some they will be very slow mother will be calling me hey, get up take your work study then go to washroom then have your breakfast drink this that and all they will be very slow here you will see light what is the speed of light ok we have three things to study in vacuum vacuum spelling most of the times no in my previous experience vacuum spelling is D A C C U M for many no the actual spelling is D A C U U M ok correct it vacuum so in vacuum the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second it is very important because when you are doing the numericals no it will be helpful 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in water 2.5 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in glass the speed of light may be no in glass how it will be the speed will be 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now you decide whether you are vacuum or water or glass ok so this is the second point about light these are the basic things we are just brushing up third point it gets, it gets reflected when falls on a polished surface that we know when light falls on a polished surface immediately it gets reflected for example on a mirror in the um, lower classes we used to play I think I have played keeping a mirror and when light falls on it no that reflection will come it will be very we will be very happy to see that no so reflection it gets reflected when falls on a polished surface. The frequency remains the same. What do you mean by frequency? You have studied what is frequency, the term. What is frequency? The same in all in all the mediums. In all the three mediums, the frequency remains the same. Find out, okay, what is the definition for frequency and write it down near that. It gets refracted. I told you that we are going to study both reflection and refraction. It gets refracted when it travels from one transparent medium to the other. When it is moving from water to glass, that is called as refraction, not reflection. So it gets refracted when it travels from one transparent medium to the other. Medium I have put M. While writing you write it as medium. Okay. Most of the times last year I have written as LOC for what? Law of optics. Most of the notes you have written LOC. You will write the whole thing. Same way here it is medium. Okay. Don't write M. Transparent M. Hmm? Okay. Transparent medium to another. What is? So these are the characters. Five characters, six features if you study about light it is enough. All you have already studied, they always travel in a straight line. The property is called as rectilinear propagation of light. Speed of light in vacuum, water, glass, 3, 2.5, 2. It's easy to remember, no? Okay, it gets reflected when falls on a polished surface and it gets refracted when they travel from one transparent medium to the other. Frequency always remains the same. Five points. What is a medium? What is a medium? The substance through which light propagates or travels. Okay. The substance through which light propagates or travels is called as medium. We have studied three mediums. Transparent medium, translucent medium, opaque medium. No? Transparent medium, translucent medium and opaque medium. What is transparent medium? Transparent we then know. In our glass also sometimes we use this a transparent glass. Some glasses are translucent also. But transparent we can see what is there in the other side. So the medium in which the light propagates easily. The medium in which light propagates easily is called as transparent. For example glass and water also. When you see transparent water will tell you. So transparent. Translucent. The medium in which Light travels partial, that is called as what? Translucent, for example, oil paper. If you see the oil paper, something will be there.
there, but we will not be able to see that clearly. What is there? That's why, you know, in our house also glasses will be there, window lane uh, will be there, near yeah, that we will stand and see. That's why someone will be standing, but we will not be able to see who it is. The faces will not be very clear. So that is called as translucent. Okay? We will not be able to see anything. So cannot propagate. The medium in which light cannot propagate. You are keeping a top piece below and Nine uh, sheet. Will you be able to see what is there? We will not be able to see that. That is opaque. Okay. Transparent, translucent, opaque. All easy terms are really have studied. What is the ray? This is already have studied. A straight line path along which light travels in a homogeneous medium. Usually it will be represented by this no? Ray when you are drawing, you put a line and you put a arrow. Not in this end, we will put in the middle. That is called as ray. In case if they ask to check your knowledge, it is very important. It's a straight line path along which the light travels in a homogeneous medium. Homogeneous heterogeneous is so in uh, biology or study. Homogeneous chemistry also. Homo means same. Hetero means different. So in the same medium, when light travels, no? That is called as ray. Straight line path along which the light travels in a homogeneous medium. So it should be represented. Like this, one line and an arrow in the middle. What is beam? I am not asking about sort of beam. This beam. Okay, beam. What is beam? A bunch of rays or a bundle of rays. Okay, traveling in the same way. It is called as beam. There are three types convergent, divergent, and parallel beam. What is convergent beam? Convergent beam means the diameter decreases in the direction. See here, it is moving like this and it is decreasing. It is decreasing. This way, when it is moving towards a point, then that is called as convergent. When it is moving like this, no, this area if you see, it decreases the distance. So this is called as convergent. Okay, this is called as convergent. Divergent mean means it is going like this. Instead of going parallelly like this, after going to a particular place, it will move like this. That is called as diverging. Okay? When diverging, the diameter increases. Parallelly. Parallelly similar to this. It will be the same and it will be moving like this. The size will be the same. So, here convergent, divergent and parallel. Now comes reflection of light. What do you mean the reflection of light? This also you have studied. When a beam of light is incident on a polished interface. Interface means which area? This one. On a polished interface and it is sent back in the same medium. Then it is called as reflection of light. Definition is very important. When a beam of light is incident on a polished interface and it is sent back in the same medium, then it is called as reflection. Okay? See, this is a mirror. If you are taking this as a mirror, this is the incident ray. The ray which is going and hitting is called as, I have seen written see here, point of incidence means the point on which the incident ray is going and hitting. That is called as point of incidence. It is denoted by a letter O. Incident ray is the ray which is going and hitting. That is called as incident ray. Reflected ray, the ray which is sent back is called as reflected ray. Normal, when the incident ray is going and hitting, a line which is drawn perpendicular to this now, it is called as normal. I have denoted it the capital letter N. See, incident ray I have denoted by P. Reflected ray I have denoted with the letter Q. Angle of incidence is the distance between incident ray and the normal is called this angle is called as angle of incidence and the angle between normal and reflected ray is called as angle of reflection. So this is very important. I have taken a mirror so I have uh, mentioned it as M, M dash. At the point where the incident ray is coming and hitting, you know, incident ray's name is here the name, okay, for all the rays. The name of this ray is P. P is the incident ray which is going and hitting. Which one? On a polished surface and this point is called as point of incidence. It is noted by capital O. 
So the ray which is coming up or sent back is called as Q. Now tell me, if angle of incidence is 30 degrees, what is angle of reflection? Very good, 30. If this is 45, this is also 45. If this is 50, this is also 55. So uh, this is very clear reflection of light. We also know that regular reflection and irregular reflection is there. What do you mean by regular reflection? If the reflection takes place in a regular manner, it is called as regular reflection. If the reflection is irregular, then it is called as irregular reflection. Correct? 